Welcome to today's 3D print. Today is a mini project special. I love the idea of doing projects, so I plan to do more of them. And I started with this one. You saw some other ones, but this one actually came first. It just took me a little longer to finish it. This is going to be a two-part video. On this one, I want to give you a little history. I want to show you the project. And then next week, I'm going to do a video on showing you how I did it. This is a very simple project. This is taking a print you can find and making slight changes to it to make it a little more interesting and to add a little advancement to it without adding a whole lot of effort as far as skill, I meaning it's relatively easy to do. So, let's talk about Albert Einstein. That guy. Something I did not know, he died in 1955. Which means for six years of my dad's life, he was alive. For whatever reason, whenever I think of somebody like this, I think ancient history. You know, you think in Aristotle and Socrates and stuff like that. He's modern. <laughs> I didn't know. I just it never clicked just how modern Einstein was. I mean, I knew, of course, I knew he was involved in World War II and the nuclear project and whatnot. But it just, I guess, it never clicked that. You know, I, I was literally 35 years away from being able to meet him. You know, that's pretty cool. So he was born March 14th, 1978 in Ulm, Germany. He died April 18th, 1955 in Princeton, New Jersey. Right across the freaking river, right there. I've ridden my bike to Princeton, New Jersey. That's how close that is. And that's pretty cool. Elsa Einstein was his wife, 1919-1936. And it looks like he had a... Her mom or wife? I don't know. He had children as well. Wow. Some of his children might be alive today. That's pretty cool. So anyway, a user posted a extremely high resolution sculpture that he made of Einstein, a bust of Einstein. And he also made a plinth to put Einstein on. And I got this new filament from Maker Geeks called Hot White. It actually, it was part of their uh, monthly Maker Box, Maker Geek thing. So this month was crystal green PLA and hot white. And I said, like, this hot white is very cool. I love this filament. And I was like, this would make a very good lithophane filament. And it's probably what I'm going to use to make lithophanes. And then I thought, Einstein, what about a 3D lithophane? Kind of an oxymoron, but um, the point is a 3D model that you illuminate from inside and you gain further depth of details from the illumination because certain parts of the model will be thicker than the other. I didn't do anything special. I had no idea if it was going to work. I just said, let's try it. So I printed out Einstein. This came out stunning. The detail is out of this way. And I'm getting nasty shadows and I have no idea why. The detail is incredible in this model. Really, really beautiful details. This guy went all out. Now, there are some errors in this model. You're going to notice that there's some holes back here. And there's a little bit of holeage in the top of his head. The only place I had support was here underneath his chin. Otherwise, I used no support. I used four perimeters. You, again, using the perimeters and sacrificial perimeters, you can see all the strings inside from the sacrifice perimeters that allowed this to print without any infill whatsoever. I didn't even put infill at the top, that's why I have some holes there. But you never notice those. They're, they're sacrificial. I accept those flaws in order to end up with this result. Then you have the plinth. I scaled this up and I you'll notice I made some changes to this. So I put some cavities in here so I can run power and wiring into this. And I also put a cutout in here to accept the model. Now, that didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Tinkercad decimates models when you import them, especially ultra-high resolution models like this. And so while I was able to import Einstein into Tinkercad and use him as a cut to cut a Einstein-shaped hole in the top of this plinth, it wasn't the exact same shape because it decimated the model, so it's not a perfect fit, but it's good enough. Basically, I just need to make it a little larger um, so to make up for some of the discrepancies in the print. So let's get right to it. Let me show you what I did. I have a cavity here. The reason I have a cavity there is so that I can put this light right there like that. Now I'm going to put this model on here and show it to you. This is cool. You ready for this? <laughs> look at that. Actually, I think it'll look better if I shine the light toward the back. 
so that you don't see so much of the light and you just see yeah you just see the figure lit up I have no idea if that rolling line effect is actually visible to you guys at home hopefully it's not I think that's the frequency of the LED lights flashing being captured by the camera isn't that neat that is such a cool model because of the different, it, all the lines pop, his eyes, everything just pops better because it's being lit up from inside. I have a very good picture I put on Twitter of this. I love this. This is beautiful. Things like this are very nice, especially if it's something truly historic like this. And then I can take the light out. I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what that there is for. And then, of course, the hole down there to here where I can run power in a wire because eventually I'm just going to put a like an E14 candelabra LED bulb in here and actually use it as a, a night lamp up on the table or something like that and it says Albert Einstein and this is printed in Zyro marble very cool filament this is that it looks like kind of like that marble stone color it's got the little speckles throughout it I don't know why this is showing up so dark I have a ridiculous amount of light in here it might be because I'm backlit or something. I'll have to work on that. You notice no noise? <laughs> I think it's the first time in months that uh, I have no printers going. I haven't yet soundproofed the separation of the room, so I waited until all the printers were done so I could begin moving them out of this room. I'll just keep you know the one printer in here for my day-to-day -day printing, but make sure that it's not running when I'm doing videos, so you guys don't have to hear that. But that's Albert Einstein's plinth and head bust. Draft thought. It's pretty darn cool. And it's an easy print. This was printed on the Ender 2 in Maker Geek's Hot White. This was printed on the CR-10S in Zyro's Marble print. That's it. You guys have a great day. Oh, I didn't show you the other Maker Geek's filament for the day. Uh, this is an upcoming project. That I made one of these, but there is the filament. And it is the Huntress from Fantasy Graph. Right there. This also looks pretty darn nice lit up. Beautiful filament. It's nice. I like it. This is all hollow except for key areas. A little bit of a little bit of infill here. A little bit of infill here. I can I can probably can light it up. I don't know if you can see it. You all see it? A little bit of infill. That's so that the head would close and her head would close. And there are no holes in this one. This one came out great. There you go. I'll have links to all this down below. Uh, don't forget to check my description below the videos for links to the STLs, links to the resources, uh, links to the PLAs, links to Tinkercad, the different things that I've used. And um, if I interconnect videos, I'm going to start putting links in there as well to check out the video that connects to this video. So if like an educational video is relevant to it, I'll add that in the description for you guys to make it easier for you to find it. Hope you guys enjoy it. You have a great day.